Yesterday was Christmas Day 2018. My son came over to see us and uh, he bought me this um, hardware uh, pen tool. I've not got into it yet, so I think what we'd better do is, because uh, <coughs> it's sealed up here, get my knife in and we'll slice into it. Uh, my son knows that I like gadgets and gizmos, so he uh, thought I might like this. How do you get into it? <laughs> Adult proof packaging, guys. There we go, we're into it. Open it up like so, get all the bits out. Right, so what have we got here then? Gentleman's hardware, it says here. Cool, right. Let's get the um, bits out. Whoops. Okay. Um, there's the pen, and here's the stylus. Right, let's get rid of the cardboard over there as per usual. And let's take a look at the components. Here we have the main body, which is a uh, plastic, I believe. Uh, we have a bottle opener and um, mobile phone rest just here. Here is the uh, other part of the body, which we have in theory. Yep, there's a ballpoint pen in there to give it a twist to access the tip, as you can see it coming in and out there. And on the other end we have, hopefully, yes, a double-ended little screwdriver here. The screwdriver bit just put, pops back in there. And then we have a uh, touchscreen stylus bit here. So I guess that goes on. I don't know where that goes on yet, guys. <laughs> Turns out the stylus goes on here, just covering the screwdriver up. There we go. So that goes on there then. And then I would imagine that goes, screws in there like so. And there is the uh, pen assembled. Let's take a look at a few dimensions. I measured these myself. Um, we're looking at um, 141 millimeters long. It is uh, 10 millimeters across the flats. And the uh, stylus diameter is roughly 5.8 millimeters. Let's have a look how much it weighs. So you're looking at um, an one and one eighth of an ounce or 30 grams. For the uh, screwdriver, the double-ended screwdriver bit, we're looking at a uh, Phillips naught, a pH naught at this end, and this uh, flat here is three millimeters. Okay, so here we have the assembled tool. Um, I was hoping that um, when you took this out and you take the stylus nib off the end of it, that you could actually uh, use a, uh, put it in here and use a screwdriver like that, but you can't. You have to actually use it like this. Um, we'll give it a go. I've got my um, screwdriver test block here. Let's try the uh, flat driver here. Um, I think this screw here, I mean it's obvious you can see uh, that the screw is far too big for the screwdriver and I think it's fairly tight in here. So if we can get it out with the um, pen tool. No I can't because I can't get the grip on the um, shaft here so it's really tight. Let's try a um, multi-tool. There we go, it's loosened it off. So you can you can use the uh, core of the um, multi-tool pen here. And you can tighten it up a bit. Let's have a look. There we go. You can't get that much grip on it though, to be honest with you. I say it's just a shame it doesn't fit in here when you want to use it as a screwdriver. Let's give the uh, Phillips PH naught to go. Try on this little. Um, this is actually a posi drive screw. It might be in there fairly tight again. Yes, it is. Oh, blimey here. Yeah. So you really can't, you really can't get a grip on this properly to uh, loosen a really tight screw, which is, I think is a bit of a shame, really. Right, let's see if we can get the uh, screw out of the uh, Christmas lights here. There's a little screw just here. Unscrew it. Take that off. Give it a go. There we go. So now we can uh, whip the batteries out so they don't go funny um, over the summer. Done. 
I think the uh, flat screwdriver bit is just a tad too big for a, a screw in, uh, glasses screw but it will do them up at a pinch as you can see here loosened it off and we'll fully tighten it but once you get to tight it tends to uh, slip out a little bit so it's just that little bit too big for uh, doing glasses but it will do them at a pinch so basically if you could mount this into here so it was like this you'd get a lot uh, be able to get a lot more leverage on the screw because you've got the nice flats to get hold of where this is just round and you can't really get much of a grip of it to be honest with you okay let's take a look at the uh, ballpoint assembly shall we it um, it's a friction fit you can pull it out of the uh, body here and then the refill unscrews there's your little re threaded refill pop it back in again it just threads in put it back into the main body again which is a very tight friction fit and then to get the uh, screwdriver bit out you simply turn turn the body as you can see it's coming out quite nicely there what's it like to write with well we'll try this sheet of paper then that's not bad uh, to write with really guys it's a uh, quite a nice little ballpoint there doodling is good as well okay so I've got my new uh, Huawei MediaPad M3 here so we'll try the little stylus touchscreen stylus here um, is it going to work for us? yes it is Google, straight into Google then can we type with it? let's have a look um, I can't really see it upside down guys <laughs> there we go Yeah, it's not easy upside down. Okay, so it works then. The uh, little stylus works a treat. I initially thought the body on this was plastic, but it turns out it's actually aluminium because there's a little scratch just here. And you can see the uh, silver of the aluminium shining through. It's an aluminium extrusion. At this end, we have the uh, bottle opener and mobile phone stand. Uh, let's try the mobile phone stand out first. Right, let's give my uh, Huawei smartphone a go in there, shall we? There's a little... there we go. So that's how it holds your phone up. We have both metric and imperial rulers on the uh, tool pin. Quite a strong little pocket clip. So it, fit, so it should hold into your pocket quite nicely. So this here is, as I say, is a phone stand and also a bottle opener. So what we uh, what we did, I gave it to uh, Mrs Rathbone to have a go with a bottle opener. Um, however, I gave her some duff information because I thought it was this end, uh, but there's actually a little claw in this end as well, and this end actually is the bottle opener. So what we'll do is we'll pop over to uh, Mrs Rathbone and see how she gets on using it to open bottles. This is from a firm called Hardware. Uh, gentleman's hardware apparently. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a pen tool with six functions. And I don't know what they are, but it apparently has six functions. <laughs> Let's just do one of them anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This no. may not be one of the functions. Oh no. Oh, okay. Only thing I can think of is try it the other way. Hang on, I got it a bit. Then. Nearly. Hmm, this is um. Oh, okay. Finally! So your opinion of that is? Well, I want to say crap, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it did it eventually. It's probably the technique, I guess, of getting it right. I don't know. But it's, it's, it's quite good to hold, actually. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it could be just I have got a bad technique of doing it. I don't really know, but... Hmm. It's obviously not as good as the other one, but... Oh, the one we did earlier on, yeah. yeah. 
which is that one there. You can't, it won't grip. It doesn't grip properly on the um, on the bottle cap. Skirty bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not gripping properly. Hmm. Not so good then. And now the correct way. Right, I'm having to do this again because some idiot behind the camera. What? Told me to open it with that one, and you open it with that bit there. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give it a go. Again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that well, was that's easy. That's the way you open it then. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah. So that's really quite good, actually. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was a bit of fun then. If only, um, you know, I'd have uh, I, I just thought, you know, there was one hook on here, but there's actually a little small one here too, which is for the uh, bottle opening. If uh, You know, if I'd have noticed that, I would have given uh, Mrs. Rathbone the relevant information at the time. <laughs> Never mind, hope you enjoyed it, guys. All right then, so the uh, hardware pen tool then. <clears throat> Quite a nice design. So I initially thought it was a plastic body, but it's not. It's an aluminium extrusion. Uh, it's quite nicely made. I think this is an alloy casting at the end here. Um, yes, it's quite nicely made, quite a nice bit of quality. Um, you've got your stylus for your mobile device here. We've got a, uh, a small screwdriver, double-ended screwdriver in here. You can't do anything strenuous with it because, you, to be honest with you, you can't really get hold of it, I don't think. It's too, uh, too smooth. It should have uh, fit into the body here somehow, say, like that. And then you'd have been able to uh, make use of the um, nice octagonal body let's get the uh, there we go get it all back together again yeah so you know thanks to my son for uh, bringing it in for Christmas for me I always like my gadgets and gizmos as you guys know so anything like this is of real interest to me really um, I can't really get enough of this sort of stuff the house is beginning to fill up with it all really okay guys well I hope you enjoyed this the review of this the hardware pen tool six functions in one apparently according to the box um, very nice thank you very much to my son for uh, bringing it in for Christmas and um, I will catch you guys later